Yo, this is the Scar City Studios YouTube channel. Please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. And our sponsors are Alpha Claims and Hire, Birmingham, the leading and best accident management company with £1,000 referral with the code SCAR10. Thank you for joining me. And the three stories that we've got this evening are all connected in regard to firearms. These stories, I haven't seen a lot of media attention around. The first story is about an AK-47 that has been found in a Birmingham pub. This pub was on Alan Rock Road, which is the main road that runs through Alan Rock South Explanatory. It's the Brook Hill pub. This pub, as you can see from the picture, it's derelict now, but the police was tipped off, apparently, to intelligence that people was using it as a place to store weapons. Where that information could come from, maybe neighbours living close by. It's a residential street, so it's possible. The gun has now been sent off for forensic analysis uh, to see if it has been used by experts at the National Ballistics Intelligence Service. And they also do this with the gun amnesty. Uh, so when you hand a firearm in, even though you won't be charged with it or arrested there and then, they will run it off for analysis to make sure it hasn't been used in any other crimes. The detective in charge of the case, Simon Graham from the Birmingham Organised Crime Team said, this is a really significant recovery of a deadly weapon that has no place on the streets. It's really rare to find a firearm like this in the West Midlands, but we've been able to take it out of circulation. This just goes to show the extent of the weaponry which is on the streets, on standby, waiting for the right time. Alan Rock, I've covered it several times over, over the time I've been doing this. I also covered the chip shop shooting where four young men were jailed for shooting a Colt revolver through the window of a chip shop where people were queuing up. This was part of a bit of a tit for tat gang war, the police said at the time. So I I'll leave a link in the description for that story there to, about Alan Rock and I'll definitely keep you updated to see if that gun does come back to any shootings in connection with it that'll be interesting to find out the next story is about a man that tried to smuggle 60 firearms into the country in his car it's an Irish man his name is Robert Goff and he was 37 years old and he was stopped on the 2nd of August this was by border force at the port of Dover en route from Calais so he was coming from France and he was going to be getting off in the UK Robert Robert left the UK through Dover several days earlier. He told officers he was returning from Europe, just a simple driving around sightseeing tour. The initial search of the car, the Volkswagen Passat, recovered a Turkish manufactured Seraki blank firing handgun with its barrel converted to fire live ammunition. This is a very common practice that we see a lot nowadays where they get firearms quite legally from places in Turkey, Bulgaria, etc. And they can just convert them as soon as they get over but these was converted before they even arrived in the UK. The guns were concealed in the car's rear left quarter panel and it was quite well concealed because it took them a long time to find these firearms. After they found the first firearm they referred the job to the National Crime Agency that's who's dealt with this case, that's the story I'm referencing. The border force unearthed another 59 firearms deep inside the car bumper and both rear quarter panels. Robert was from Dublin so he's from Ireland the Republic and he admitted illegally importing firearms when he appeared at Canterbury Crown Court on the 5th of September he will return to court on the 11th of October for sentencing in an interview he said he had a 3,000 euro gambling debt because the currency in Ireland is the euro if I'm right he said he didn't know there was anything secreted in the car on the re return journey so he's basically his alibi in this is plain dumb they then go on to say that they've deprived this group of that but the question question that I'd like to ask is who on earth needs 60 firearms 60 firearms and I'm finding it a little bit weird that it's going to Ireland especially with all the disruption that's going on with Brexit at the moment and there's been explosions going on in Ireland outside courthouses they've, they've found pipe bombs all sorts of different things that could reflect that maybe some political stuff is going on in Ireland doesn't mean this is connected to it but it is a very strange case and it also shows the variety of people that are involved in guns crime and also smuggling guns into the country because every single day the 18th of september this case happened in merseyside 56 guns were recovered by international firearms operation that involved and 13 suspects were arrested they also found 80 keys of heroin it was a joint operation by the national crime agency again and bulgarian law enforcement two packages destined for merseyside were intercepted and contained 14 firearms 
shells, eight silencers and 691 rounds of ammunition. Nine suspects were arrested in Birkenhead and Wirral in Merseyside by NCA and Merseyside police officers on Monday with three additional firearms and a significant amount of ammunition recovered. In coordinated strikes, Bulgarian law enforcement arrested four suspects including a UK national. They seized 39 handguns, 21 silencers, 1,253 rounds of ammunition which was intended for the UK. The firearms included a Makarov pistol and Saraki handguns. The majority of the seized weapons were blank firers converted to be lethal. Again, the same story. The NCA is investigating more than 30 previous importations to the UK. Wow. So if you really do the maths on that, they're saying they could potentially have done this 30 times. And each time they're bringing in a dozen guns, maybe two dozen guns, with a lot of ammunition. So these firearms are on the streets now. These are being pulled up in murder cases across the country and they've just come straight from bulgaria and then this also goes to show the same as the difference with that one and the ak-47s all of these guns are coming from like eastern european places mainly just due, due to a lot of armies decommissioning stuff and then selling it on cheap to other smaller agencies and then it gets into the criminal underworld and ends up getting sold on the streets of the uk so it gives you a bit of an insight into where the, where, where the guns come from because people always think oh how did the guns get in the country how we these sort of firearms available and it's quite obvious where the guns come from they're, they're found all the time every single day so i really want to hear what people have to say on this and any other stories that you think of might be of interest and don't forget to follow our sponsors at alpha claims and higher birmingham they make it easier for me to do more content more stories and bring you more up-to-date information so please go and give them a follow and we've got competitions coming up very very soon